When South Sudan descended into chaos, the UN through its Secretary General Ban Ki-moon asked Uganda to intervene to find a political solution. Now that intervention has landed President Sheikh Museveni's administration into a spot of bother. Though the UPDF Act allows the president to take troops to another country, this can only be done within a period of 21 days. With those 21 days having elapsed, questions have been coming in thick and fast. Today, Junior Defense Minister J.J. Odongo fielded questions from the Defense Committee. MPs who cut short their recess to attend the meeting weren't happy that the Defense Minister Chris Paskiyonga opted to send his sidekick. Honorable members, you have already invited me tomorrow and they ask me to tell you. Honorable members, please. Honorable they accused Kiyonga of conniving with the chairperson of the committee. They also alleged that there is a plot to shield government and justify UPDF troops' continued deployment in South Sudan. The CDF was on his way to the upper night to plan on how to deploy Ugandan soldiers to guard the oil. And they said, in fact, by yesterday they had agreed to their meetings. And, and, and the general J.J. Odongo knows it. J.J. Odong took offense at the allegations which he described as malicious. That we met, that we are conniving, that we are hiding people. This is absolutely nonsensical. Absolutely nonsensical. I will not, I will not sit here and accept that kind of nonsense. This, though, didn't stop some of the MPs who went on to allege that the militia groups that were used to fight Joseph Kony as Arab boys and Amuka have been taken to South Sudan. The Committee of Internal Affairs and Defense, we should be of the no, just in case anything happens, in case they get injured, in case they get killed, what, how will the families be helped? No one is against them being deployed, especially to Somalia, because that one parliament approved. But to Southern Sudan, to South Sudan, Parliament has never proved. Meanwhile, the lawmaker for Aru County, Odongoto, has said that the UPDF is already leaking its wounds in South Sudan. Uh, the first we received is Sergeant Santo Ochen, who was buried in Onyana village, Ongako sub county. Yesterday again, in Kal Center village, Ongako sub county, Omoro county, Richard Oyaka was buried. They are going about their work of evacuation and we've had no casualty at all. So that is wishful thinking, and it should be dismissed. Otto also notes that the deployment is sectarian in nature, and that government should increase the compensation earmarked for dead soldiers' families. Most of those fighting are from the north, east, and from Kasese. So we have been receiving numerous phone calls that if these Uganda People's Defense Forces deployed in Sudan, why should it be a few tribes? To be at the front line. The issue of South Sudan has created very many questions in the minds of very many Ugandans, especially when it comes to the issue of deployment of the UPDF in the volatile region. This has become even more complicated with some legislators who also allege that some UPDF soldiers were killed in the region. Maurice Ochol, NTV.